I'm George and we'll be removing the background from this photo and leaving a nice clean white background. Now if you like this video make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. When you subscribe hit that bell notification icon and check out my channel for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos. Alright now the main idea here is to remove the background and then replace it with a white layer. Let me just get this out of the way. And that's right there, a little white layer right there. Now the problem with this, of course, is always how to get a nice edge with nice detail in there. And on this particular image, we don't have any color separation. Most of the time you have some separation in the color between the background and the foreground, and you can then shift one color away to make it easier. In this case, we don't have that ability. So we'll have to use a different technique. And the one that I'll be using here is to make a black and white layer increase the contrast on that layer. Let's see how that's done. I'm actually going to just delete all three of these layers here. Get rid of that. And back to the base photo. Right click, duplicate layer, and choose OK. On this layer, we'll convert this to black and white. Go up here to enhance, come down to convert to black and white. And what you want is a nice contrast change between the background and the foreground. So try each of these. Here's infrared, there's newspaper, here's portraits, there's scenic, urban, and vivid. Vivid has a pretty good separation. Maybe it's a bit hot here on that side. That doesn't really matter. But look at the edges here. That's a pretty good separation. Let's try infrared and then vivid. I'm looking at the top of the head right now and it looks like infrared's a little bit lighter up in here. There's a bit better separation up there. So I'll go with the infrared and choose OK. All right, so far so good. Now the problem areas here are going to be right up along the top of the head. It's pretty close in spots, right in here especially, where the background is almost the same color as the hairs. So that's going to be our difficult area up there. Everything else looks pretty good. Now to do a nice clean job on this, I'm going to go ahead and do a careful selection around all the hard edges, which will be all along in here, up in the shirt, over here, and up to here. And then we'll do a refined edge trick for the hair to get some of that fine detail. So we'll start off zooming in here on the left side ear, and I'll use the polygonal lasso tool. I'll leave the feathering at one pixel. It just softens the edge down just a little bit. Might zoom in even further on this. There we go, real nice and tight, easy to see. And then simply come in and make a selection right around this edge. And you wanna be just a little ways into the image. Not very far, but just a little ways in. You don't wanna pick up any of that dark background in there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and then do do this all along those hard edges, and then we'll bring the video right back up again. Okay, there's my nice tight edge right along here, along the shirt, up along this side, and tighten here. And then for the hair, I came out just a little ways outside of the hair, up and around there. So we'll be using the refined edge on this edge. But I want to be able to see this edge even better, so let's do another little trick in here. I'm going to go up here to select and let's save this selection right there. I'll give this one a name. I'm just going to call this one outline. Call it anything you like and choose OK and then deselect. Let's now increase the contrast on this image and try to get some sharpness in here. We'll start off with some sharpening. Enhance. Let's come down to adjust sharpness. In here in this window, you can actually take this hand and pull this around. And what I want to look at is the hairs, especially right over on this side right here. And here's preview before and after. I'm not really seeing a whole lot in here, so let's go ahead and we'll pull this up a ways. That's too much. That's better. So it's really beginning to block up with the sharpness in here. And that's what I'm looking for. So I want to get some sharper areas on this hair, just so that the refined edge can find that. And that looks pretty good. Looks nice and relatively sharp along the edges of the hair. I don't care about anything else. We already have our selection made for everything else. It's really just the hair in here that I'm caring about. Okay, so that's an adjust sharpness. In this case, 216% radius of 2. Looks pretty good. I'll choose OK. That sharpens that up nicely. Let's now work with our contrast a little bit on this one. Go to Enhance, come down to Adjust Lighting, and let's do Levels. Now, it doesn't matter what the image looks like. We're not trying to make a black and white photograph. We're just trying to get more separation between the background and the foreground. So let's try our slider controls here. So if I go lighter, like this, the middle control, go to the left, and it begins to give me more separation up here around the hair. And that's what I'm looking for. It's 
bring a little bit of darkness and that should bring in the hair a bit better and that does and a little more medium tone lightness so going back and forth on these two I'm beginning to get some more contrast up there along that edge and losing some of that background there we are let's just pull our whites in just a little bit I think this will also bring it up just a bit okay that's pretty good it's beginning to get some nice separation now up around the hair and that's all I really care about maybe it's a bit too close in here let's do a little bit of an adjustment and see how that goes looks like right about there is a good compromise on those settings so again on this one I'm doing a 37 2.06 and a 288 and then choose OK and there we are now let's reload our selection select load selection there it is choose OK we can now zoom in on our top section here a bit and that's pretty good I think and let's now go over here to a selection tool doesn't matter which one you choose anyone is fine and then click on refine edge here's the refine edge tool and we have this magnifying glass here the zoom control and a hand the hand allows us to move the image around like that if you want to and the zoom tool allows you to zoom in a bit closer if you need to and then come down here to this tool this is the refine brush choose that one click on smart radius and let's just come in and come right along this edge of the hair and we should get a pretty good edge on this then let's work around the hair if you come in too far it doesn't really catch quite right just go to this eraser tool and you can back that out just a little bit in there there we go go up along here i'm going to hold down the space bar and that also gives me a hand tool just for a quick move like that up along here and this come right along the top edge here of the hair that looks pretty good get this side over here and work down this side again the space bar right here and let's get this final little bit right in here there we are you want to you come down here you want to output this to selection there we go and that's all we need from that black and white layer let's just zoom this back out again fit screen hide the black and white layer come down to the background layer right here there's your selection let's make another copy of the background layer right click duplicate layer choose OK there it is click on the layer mask button and then hide the background and you should have a nice clean edge let's now come down to the background make a new layer above that there it is switch our colors to white in the foreground grab the paint bucket and click on that that fills that layer with white and now all we need to do is just to clean up this edge right along in here now the edge is controlled by the layer mask so we need to sharpen up that layer mask and we can do that just by darkening down that edge and for that go to this tool right here this is the burn tool and that's that one right down here I have my exposure set at 50 percent it's a fairly small brush as you can see maybe just a little bit larger and I'm working on the layer mask side and what I'm doing as I brush over this is that I am just making the layer mask darker and darkening down makes it more black if it's more black it hides better and and the nice thing about this is it will leave in a lot of those little wispy hairs that you might lose with other techniques and I'm just doing several little brush strokes in here just real small brush strokes and work your way around and just clean up that edge it's just exaggerating the contrast of that edge and that's all we need to do is just kind of exaggerate the contrast of the edge and there it is so there's the before right here there's our white background with the after okay if you like this video make sure you hit that like button don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well and hit that bell icon for notifications of new videos and check out my channel for a bunch more photoshop elements stuff and also to really learn how to use photoshop elements take a look at my complete training course and there's a link for that right down there in the description all right and i'll see you next time